hi guys and welcome to yet another video exciting adobe audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the effect pitch bender in the past few tutorials i have told you some pitch uh, you know adjusting uh, effects like the automatic pitch correction effect and the pitch shifter but today we are going to use this pitch bender effect i used to uh, apply effects from the effect menu because we can then look the effect in here and you can see clearly uh, but uh, people refer, prefer to use them from the effect track and I would also suggest to use this area always to apply effects but uh, you cannot use uh, the effect track to apply the pitch uh, bender effect because that requires a little bit of processing on the part of the CPU and your uh, processor uh, software uh, before it can be applied or you can hear it it does not play in real time or stuff like that so uh, that's why it is it can only be applied from effect menu that means that effect menu has more effects than the effect track in here okay so if you look closely and there is this word process in parentheses in front of the pitch bender effect in fact uh, three of these the, these effects have this word in front of them uh, whichever effect has this word in front of him it will never work in uh, or be played or applied from effect track it needs to be applied from the effect menu if we go to special effects and then there is this one effect which says doppler shifter it also requires processing so it cannot be applied from here it has to be applied from effects menu also so enough with that let's apply our pitch bender here okay i'm gonna turn off the uh, preview editor okay and gonna reset our pitch bender line because i already you know had played with it a little bit i'm gonna let you listen to the audio first a little bit before you can uh, we can apply the uh, effect and see what's the difference and what can we achieve with this effect then the same audio trick is being shown to us in the spectral form okay and now with these uh, uh, tools up here okay this is a raw idea of one of my video tutorials if you have listened to it you might have uh, guessed it uh, okay now as any other effect it has also some effect presets i want you to play with it and learn out for learn for yourself but in the end of the tutorial we will be using this losing power effect if you have ever heard it when people are listening to radio or something on in a movie or stuff someone pulls the plug or they just hear that big machine a generator or a turbine that is running and then suddenly that runs out of power and it slowly uh, loses its power and st slowly uh, stops you know that effect can or that sound can be achieved with this and to your own preferences of course that sound you can find on the net but this one you can create on your own choice okay other than that this is the most important part because we will be working and applying our effect in keyframes here and we will be bending the pitch using this line okay and you can do that by making keyframes just over your mouse cursor over them and put keyframes like these on it and then you can adjust them to change your pitch okay i'm gonna drag this one a little of course you do not have to drag it or bend it so much i just want to exaggerate and make it very clear so that you do not miss the effect of this pitch bender effect so it is very clear to you you do not need to adjust it this much okay as you can see the our uh, keyframe effect has been shown in here in the pitch also of course you can use uh, bent uh, spline curves which make smooth curves or you can just uh, make uh, curves the way i have done which abruptly turns around uh, after that here comes the quality and the quality of course if you keep uh, selected the perfect one and the near perfect one is gonna go um, sound really great and almost perfect but it's gonna take uh, a lot of processing power and processing on your behalf of your cpu and the software that is applying it a low if you have do not have a good desktop or a powerful one <coughs> 
and you are working <coughs> uh, poor and uh, you know weak uh, laptop then you choose a lower quality in here somewhere but that's not gonna sound good so I will not suggest or recommend it uh, behind that is the range and range is actually the minimum level that I can go down to in semitones or beats per minute one thing I should caution you about it for example this area to this area is the length of two seconds or one second or I don't know three seconds or whatever the length of this audio here is since we have slowed it down its length is gonna increase from two or three seconds to nine seconds or ten seconds so that's gonna uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, that's gonna you know uh, uh, increase the length of your uh, your all audio file or your all audio track by those much second by that much margin that is edit those second in here so keep uh, do keep that in mind while applying pitch bender and if you applied it or to one more than one place or you applied it uh, significantly as I have done so uh, for this effect to take place or take its effect the time or the length of your audio form would be increased just keep that in mind okay so let's play it and see how this affects it and how this slow motion uh, or slow motioning of the dialogues or the words or sound if uh, sounds like as you can see it's slowed down and it's now still going down and getting more slow and slow and as now from our main middle part where it is it's like someone is stuck in the slow motion scene in a movie and the dialogues are coming out of his mouth really slowly you might have seen those scenes in the movie also okay so that's the all effect of pitch bender and that's the effect of it uh, you might have seen this uh, apply to uh, in action movies or action scenes when the shooting is about to stop and someone suddenly shouts to the other one and the whole scene goes into slow motion and they cry how to run I don't stop like that you know uh, since the scene is going in slow motion so the dialogue would also be going to slow motion of course not this much slow motion that I have made just want to make my point very clear that what this effect does but uh, that kind of effects can be achieved with the pitch bender now I told you that I want to show you one last thing about this effect before we go and let us go to the end of it and we're gonna select a little part of it so that losing power effect you can hear and that is this one okay if i apply it that's how the sound is gonna go like it's losing power or something like that okay let's play it so that's it for this tutorial i just want to talk about the 64 bit version of power to be audition that it is compatible with working with and what's the benefit of it and the, i wanted to stress that you should use it and the difference between the form and multi-track which we will be using next time Okay, I think it's uh, applied to a little longer area of the audio wave file. That's why the. Okay, that's how the power losing effect takes place. I accidentally applied it to a very large area. That's why the effect was a little bit slow. If we apply this to a small area, then the effect is more obvious. Okay, let's play it once more. So until then, I take my view and hope to see you in the next And then our machine lost its power. It was a robot that was talking to you guys and <coughs> it lost its power. Its batteries ran out. It's time to recharge. And also for my batteries and your batteries also. So with that said, I'm gonna take my leave from you guys for today and hope to see you in the next tutorial. I hope you keep on learning your audition and keep on creating great sounds. Adios amigos.